Will women ever realize that they have to make an effort as well? Look, a relationship is supposed to be a two-way street, but these girls don't seem to get it. For example, a woman wants to get married, acquire a certain status, and all that good stuff. But in reality, when it comes to responsibilities, they neglect them immediately. They don't delete their dating apps, keep their IG pages open, and surely, men from their past. No wonder why men don't take them seriously anymore. However, some women, even post wall ones, want the best men out there and ask them to do insane stuff to just get a date with them. These women feel like the prize even though they're far from being wife material, let alone long-term relationship kind of partners. I just had my most favorite hinge interaction ever. So this is one of my hinge prompts. Um, basically, I'm sick of people wasting my time. Um, and also, so many people were like, I'm not writing you an essay. And obviously I'm like half joking, like a little bit joking, but you know, it just gets a bit older and they're like, I'm not gonna write you an essay, but rah, 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 until this guy. The delusion is through the roof. In today's video, guys, you'll get to know a lot more about women's entitlement, including the mindset of this woman and why women are asking for too much in order for guys to get a chance. Spoiler, most guys are not willing to play these games. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go any further, let me show the comment of the day. Shout out to MGTOW Path. He said, I refuse to cohabitate or marry ever again. I've rediscovered peace, quiet, and freedom, and I love it. Hey, and I love to hear that. So please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too guys, as it helps a lot. And now, back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. Back in the day, women asked for a provider and protector, which was fine because they were doing their part, aka taking care of the family, making food, and all that good stuff. Nowadays though, most women work, make money, and have their own apartments and cars. Still, they think they're oppressed, but that's a whole nother story. The reality is that women's hypergamy has been exacerbated in the last few decades, just like their entitlement. When you go on a dating app, it's not difficult to see women ask for a lot of stuff to even get a date with them. Six figure income, six feet in height, six pack, charming personality, ambition, etc. However, now some women even ask for a goddamn essay as if a relationship was a college subject. Give me a break. If a man asked a woman to cook for him just so he could determine whether she was wife material or not, he would be told to get fucked and get a maid. So I sent him my email address, um, not really thinking that I would hear anything from him, but, but I received this. Let's stop here for a moment to look at what most people are like on dating apps. And yeah, most of those individuals tend to be attention-seeking women. As the guy said, only dating time wasters barely put any effort into arranging dates, take over 24 hours to reply to your messages, don't put in the effort to keep a conversation going, cancel plans last minute, and the list goes on. Those are nothing but facts, and that's why most men barely get any dates on these apps. I just want to note that if the man was the one acting like the prize, the streets and social media platforms would be on fire just because he's a man asking for the efforts of a woman. <laughs> so you Obviously, I have to go out with him because the effort, like, it... ask and you shall receive. So this was my reply. Um, obviously, I have to give him a chance. And this was the response that I got. 
And also there was an attachment. There was a mini presentation attached. An actual presentation. <laughs> Women still feel like they are the prize just for being pretty, and this woman, in particular, was really in her 30s. Just by looking at her forehead and even her unnatural hair color, you can tell she's not in her prime. Most women today sit on a fictitious throne, feeling like queens picking and choosing their men. The guy who responded to this woman's request was probably a simp, but at least he spoke facts in terms of what online dating time wasters look like and behave. Let's see what the article has to offer. One woman is looking for the right man. Lauren Kempton from England requires her suitors to write a 500 word essay if they want to date her. Feeling fed up with online dating, Kempton revealed a dating strategy last year that resurfaced recently. Asking for an essay is definitely a good way of weeding out what you don't want, she said. On the 36-year-old's Hinge account, she made it clear if they wanted to have a chance with her, they must submit an application explaining how you will not waste any time. You cannot make this shit up, and let's <laughs> check out some of the comments. Doing the very thing she doesn't want done to her? Wow, so thoughtful. Don't wonder why it isn't working out. She's the one that should be submitting the 500 words. I don't like saying such things, but she's not hot enough to have such a requirement. How about a two-word essay? No thanks. I have more than two words. One of them is entitled Brat. There's a lot of fish in the sea, and she just got washed up on the beach. I have four words. Ugly. Not worth it. If she stepped away from social media and involved herself in worthwhile community activities, she might meet a nice caring person who will show his merit in deeds rather than compositional rhetoric. Pretty much what I've said, she ain't the prize but acts as if she was. Delusion at its finest. Women's hypergamy is undeniable, but some of these chicks are simply stupid, asking for a 500 word essay as if they were a school subject or assignment. Well, if they're really a subject, they're a tough one because once you fail one of the tasks, you're immediately discarded. Doesn't matter whether you get weak or your performance in bed is not good enough, lots of men are lining up to get with these women, but others are just sick and tired of this stupid game and prefer going their own way. So, with that being said, stay strong guys. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment and share it. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.